The Shir is dedicated to Zechon Nishmas Rochaleya Basav Chaim Tzvi. We're going to be embarking on an exciting new venture, a course that deals with aspects of Nevuah. We're going to be discussing among the topics that we will explore what the nature of Nevuah is. We'll speak about the Navi in terms of his own personality, his own identity, even though unquestionably a Navi is someone who is a Shaliach, who is executing the Dvar Hashem, and he has to do so carefully, precisely, punctiliously, but at the same time, a Navi still retains his own persona, and we'll describe that as well. We'll talk about the Lachats that exists vis-a-vis Naviim, when they're in the process of being Mikabal Nebuah. We'll talk about the din that the Gemara mentions, Navi Sha'ibri al Diriatsmo, and the din of Navi Shekavash Nebuaso. If he squelches the Nebuah, that he's obligated to disseminate. We'll talk about the distinction between different Nebuah in terms of the Nisuach and Nebuah, the Nusach, the particular terminology, phraseology, the tones that are used by different Nebuah in different contexts. We'll discuss as well the well-known Machlokas HaVishonim that deal with concrete actions that we find in Tanakh performed by different Nevi'im and what exactly the status of these concrete actions are. In the course of our discussion we will be exploring Madregos of Nevua because clearly there are different Madregos in Nevua. We'll speak about the distinct and unique Status of Moshe Rabbeinu, his Nevoah is sweet, generous. As we know, one of the Ikri Adas of the Rammam, the Nevoah of Moshe Rabbeinu is of a markedly different nature than Sharon Nevi'im. We'll talk about Maimon Hasinai as a very significant epicenter for Nevoah. We'll speak about, historically, the different historical parameters of Nevoah. In the course of our discussion, hopefully we'll be able to explore and analyze some of the Nevi'i Sheker. We'll speak about what the litmus test, the criteria for the VMR in terms of do they have to produce ISIS and Mosim and the like. We'll describe the interconnection between Malachim and the VM, between Kohanim and the VM. We'll speak about the Yachas of the people to the VM. We'll talk about the entire school that's called B'nai Anavim, which is a kind of preparatory school, as it were, for an individual to become a Navi. We'll talk about Nevi'im, who primarily prophesied to the Umas Ha'ilam, the nations of the world, and we'll speak about Nevi'i Habal and Magidi Asidos in general. So we're going to try to cover a rather extensive area relating to Nevua and Nevi'im and Yetz Hashem, as we embark on this journey, hopefully we'll be able to articulate and formulate very significant klolim with reference to Nevoah. By way of introduction to the concept of Nevoah, we're going to first simply, in terms of background, demonstrate that Nevoah is something which is fundamental. Nevoah is something which is basic. The Rambam, in a number of places, when the Rambam speaks about Nevua in Hilchus Yisraeli Atara and the Rambam Mor Nevuchim in the second Chelek, the Rambam at great length in the second Chelek of Mor Nevuchim, the way to remember it is from chapter 32 to chapter 48, the Rambam deals with Nevua, Mileiv Ad Mayach. That's generally the accepted acronym for remembering those prokim in the Rambam. And the Rambam in Hilchus Yisraeli Atara devotes a number of prokim to the Klom Nevua. As a matter of fact, the most comprehensive and probably most profound thesis that we have in the Vua is from the Rambam in Hilchus Yisraeli Torah and the Rambam of the When one examines the Rambam in both of these areas and elsewhere, it's very clear that the Shita of Rambam is that it's significant and very important that a person should seek out Hashem is Barach and prepare himself for an encounter with the Almighty, with Hashem is Barach. The Rambam says that one of the Isaidas, one of the Ikri Adas, Shehokel Menabe Es Bnei Adam, that the Almighty, in effect, causes man to prophesy, but man, on the other hand, also has to search out Hashem is Barach and try to elevate himself to the point where he himself can be Zeche to Ruach HaKodesh, 
You have the famous Brysa that's often quoted, certainly the very heart of Messiah Sashorim, that speaks about the different levels that a person has to move from one ladder, from one sulam on the ladder, to another sulam on the ladder, till the point where a person can be zaycha potentially to Ruch HaKedosh, which is a lower form of the vua. But unquestionably, man has to be ready for an encounter with Hashem is Barach. And clearly this involves living a very life, a very heavy life of Kedusha. The Lashon Rambam, when the Rambam speaks in Hilchaz Yisaydi Atera, he tells us that the Vua rests only upon a Chacham who is distinguished by his great Chachma and by a very strong 